Jason, can you hear us okay? Yep, I can hear you great. All right, good. We'll go ahead and get started. I will call the March 9th, 2021 Board of Works and Safety to order. Uh, we do have to go through this consent agenda um, kind of specifically on these approval of minutes. So on the January 26th meeting, that was myself and Jeff. So Jeff, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. I will second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. On the February 9th meeting, that was myself and Jason. Jason, is there a motion to approve? So moved. I will second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. And finally, on February 23rd, that was Jason and Jeff. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion by Jeff. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jason. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Moving on to the request to approve accounts payable register. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion by Jeff. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jason. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Unanimous. Great, thank you. Now we'll move on to resolutions. There's a request to declare certain city property as surplus for a trade-in. Are there any questions on that? No. Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? Motion. Motion by Jeff, is there a second? Second. Second by Jason, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Aye, motion carries unanimously. Next, there is a request to declare certain city property as surplus or otherwise scrap. Is there any questions on this? No. Seeing none, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. So moved. Got a motion by Jeff. Sec we'll call Jason's a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. I am a bit concerned that we're scrapping a vehicle. 2011 Chevy Equinox. That's four years newer than the vehicle that I drive. So, uh, let's, I, let's think been offered, I was hoping it might be your yeah. I think so. there's, I'm just hoping mine doesn't get scrapped when the time comes. Uh, Tabitha's already. <laughs> yeah. she's ready. Uh, we'll move on to a request to approve an LPA uh, consultant contract for professional services with Beam Longus and Neff for the design of 136 street improvements. Jason. Thank you for the record, Jason Taylor, Director of Engineering. Uh, actually, items 8, 9, and 10 uh, are the same. Essentially, um, item 8 is the contract with Beam Longus and Neff to perform the design services. Uh, items 9 and 10 are the contract between the city and NDOT because these are federal aid projects. But this is specifically for 136th Street between um, our Southeastern Parkway, where our roundabout is at Southeastern and 136, just east of that. And it stretches all the way over to Cynthia Ann Road, our roundabout that was constructed um, a couple years ago. Uh, it is for the design services of, those of the, the project. And we actually were fortunate enough to, for both phases of the project to be able to be awarded federal dollars on the design side. That is not typically how we have um, been successful. We've been not more on the construction side of things, but this is for the design services, the professional engineering services. Uh, we budgeted $300,000 for it, and it is coming in totality of $273,000 or $252. So I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have, and otherwise I request that you approve all three contracts. Any questions for Jason? No. Nope. Seeing none, is there a motion to approve item eight? Motion. Motion by Jeff, is there a second? Second. Second by Jason, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. We'll go ahead and skip down to item nine, which Jason mentioned previously, which is really just the contract between the city of Fishers and- um, INDOT. INDOT. Ours, yeah. Yeah. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion by Jason, second by Jeff. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Unanimous, thank you. Item 10, same uh, with just a different scope, I believe. That's yeah, just correct. the different phases. One is from Southeastern to Prairie Baptist. The other one is from Prairie Baptist to Cynthia Ann. Is there a motion? Motion. Motion by Jeff, is there a second? Second. Second by Jason, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries unanimously. 
Moving on to item 11 is a request to approve a resolution author authorizing the development entrance and open cuts of 116th Street for a storm sewer connection and a water main connection for the proposed Maple Dell development at 116th Street. Jason? Again, Jason Taylor, Director of Engineering. Before you is um, the three items that you mentioned. There is a left turn lane into the future Maple Dell uh, development as well as a water main connection across 116th Street and a storm sewer connection on 116th Street. In your exhibit that's shown on the display, uh, the, the water main, we are going to try to prevent an open cut as part of that. And maybe the, what we're anticipating is the northernmost lane of 116th Street will have restrictions and they will need to get into that, but we're gonna try to have them bore that. Um, the left turn lane uh, will take out part of the, um, the grass median there at the entrance, and then on the, uh, the west side of the, the intersection of Holland Drive and 116th, you'll see there's a, a connection into the existing storm sewer. Uh, that was, we, we worked pretty closely with the developer and their designer to try to prevent from getting into that, but we think that unfortunately we're gonna have to open cut 116th Street and do lane restrictions. And we also have uh, Chad James with HWC, who's the design firm here who can answer any additional questions that you may have. Um, the specifications for the crosswalk there, are we just doing the large piano key crosswalks? Yeah, the aerial that you see is an old aerial and it's still showing those concrete crosswalks that we have. We have piano keys out there today and we will have them replaced, okay. replace those if they do get into the pavement as far to the west of what you see. Yeah, okay. Typically throughout the city, we have done the, the piano keys to be mm -hmm. consistent. We think that there are additional, the brightness of them, visibility. Any additional questions for Jason? No. Is there any way that we could coordinate when 116th is closed for the trail for this work? Yeah, we will definitely be in coordination with them on that. We'll try to minimize the, the disruption to the residents and the motorists for sure. Okay. There are no other questions. Is there a motion to approve? Motion. Motion by Jeff. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jason. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion aye. carries unanimously. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Uh, next, we have a request to approve special purchase of stair towers for Fisher's Fire and Emergency Services Department. We have Division Chief Fidel here. Chief. Good afternoon, Charlie Fidel, Fisher's Fire. Um, <clears throat> this is continuation of part of our training tower. Um, Tracy, if you could maybe help me a little bit and if you could pull up. We have a couple drawings that kind of show an overview. That's what it will look like when it's complete with um, the windows cut out. Um, and then the part that we are requesting funding for, or we as approval to, to spend for, are the stairwells, which are all welded construction in the, the installation for that. There's a, uh, on the, uh, the three story, Tracy. Uh, well, we can start with that one first. Uh, that'd be the six story. That was include a switchback stair to go all the way up to the six story. Um, and then uh, the others on the other side, the other, um, should be one more drawing, Tracy. Maybe. Uh, there we go. There's, that's the three story. Uh, those will include a landing that, that are, is part of the container itself. Um, the six story will allow us to do high race training and then these will be more of the uh, apartment townhome type uh, simulations. Um, the company that uh, will be doing it for us is, is Rad Fabrication. They are the folks that actually rigged the towers uh, when, when they were installed and then did the uh, they welded them together so that they won't, uh, won't blow over in the wind. Um, if you have any other questions, that includes all the engineering and installation. Charlie, is the facility currently being used or is it functional or, is it, or are we waiting on these pieces? Yeah, right now, no, we're, we're about a year behind because of uh, the COVID. We couldn't, okay. a lot of the work we wanted to do last year, we couldn't, we couldn't do. Once this is complete, is it then a functional training site? We, we, as soon as this is done, we'll start cutting the windows, which were shown in the first, first drawing, and then we'll be ready to go. 
And what is that time frame for all this? If I can have everything done by next April, I'll be in oh, really? pretty okay. good shape. Yep. Okay. Maybe maybe sooner, but uh, with with recruit class, we get we're we're a little yeah. behind too. Okay. So. Any additional questions for uh, Chief Fidel? Is this this is Jason? Um, is this multi department use? So other departments in the county or surrounding yeah. counties or Fishers Fire Department only? We were uh, actually hoping to have everything done by next April for FDIC if it uh, if it's able to get back on schedule for next uh, April and allow those folks to come in and use it. But uh, we we're also hoping to. It's kind of a uh, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Um, type facility where we'll have the opportunity to use other folks and then we'll allow them to come in so that we can offer the firefighters different uh, different scenarios so they don't get used to the same training facility. Yeah. One thing that I think Great. is kind of built into this is uh, Chief Fidel often hosts recruit classes that have people from a variety of departments yeah. that would, I would assume during the recruit that, that time period would be using yep. this pretty heavily. Currently, we have a recruit from Decatur Township, Marion County in our class. So, and then yeah. last year it was Speedway and Decatur. Yeah, so um, there will be other agencies with the opportunity to use it. Uh, any additional questions for Chief Fidel? No. Nope. Seeing none, is there a motion? Motion. Motion by Jason, is there a second? Second. Second by Jeff, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously, thank you. Thank you. Next is a request to approve special purchase of certain equipment and services to be installed on two new Freightliner Class 8 truck chassis for DPW. Tabitha? Afternoon, Tabitha Miller with Fleet Management uh, requesting the authorization to purchase uh, equipment and the install of equipment for two Freightliner tandem axle chassis. Um, we would be installing a 14-foot dump bed uh, along with plow and um, V-boxes for salt. And in one, we would put a brine tank. Okay. Any questions for Tabitha? Seeing none, is there a motion? No. Motion. Motion by Jeff. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jason. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Tabitha. Final item, Thank for, you. final item for today is a request to approve a resolution transferring certain property to the Greenfield Fire Territory. Chief Fidel. Charlie Fidel, Fisher's Fire. Um, we were able to purchase uh, new nozzles for, for our department uh, late last year. Um, the nozzles are more uh, upgrade in technology uh, to basically allow us to flow more gallons with less pressure to make a long story uh, short. Um, with that, we have quite a few combination nozzles that are older technology uh, that we don't have a use for anymore. Um, we made a presentation to Chief Arusa to see if there were other departments out there that may have a use for those. And uh, Chief Lott from Greenfield Fire um, spoke up and said yes, they'd be glad to have them. And uh, talking to uh, Chris, we, we need to get approval to transfer that equipment to them. Is it one question I had on this, Chris? Is obviously uh, liability. So, sure. Is I saw some language in the agreement about indemnification, but is there anything in state law that when a when a city decides to transfer property to another one out of a goodwill gesture, that that city is automatically indemnified? Yeah, so there's not automatic indemnification, but what the state statute says is that when you want to transfer property or equipment to another governmental entity, you do it on the terms of the agreement that you put forth between the two bodies. So what we have here is the Greenfield Fire, Ter Fire Territory is going to adopt a similar resolution at their council meeting this week. Okay. And they're also going to sign this transfer agreement that we drafted, which basically says you're taking all the equipment as is, where is. It's a goodwill uh, gesture, as you mentioned, and you're indemnifying us from all liability going forward. So we're happy to give that equipment to Greenfield, but they're going to indemnify us uh, for that equipment. Is this the first, Charlie, outside of fire trucks, is this the first time we've... Um, surplus Several years ago, we did some uh, S older SCBAs to... Um, the uh, Indianapolis Public Schools Fire Academy that's okay. at, at um, 
Arsenal Tech. Gotcha. Uh, we gave them, I think, some old hose, and uh, but they they weren't actually doing any IDLH or any hazardous right. work with those. Basically, just for students. Normally, we have a trade in on on nozzles, but these were um, out of date for for gotcha. trade. So, gotcha. Any additional questions for Chief Fidel? No. No. Seeing none, is there a motion? Motion. Motion by Jeff. Is there a second? Second. Second by Jason. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Any additional items, Chris? Nope. And since Jason's participating remotely, pending no objection from the board members, we're going to send the resolutions electronically for your signature. Sure. Fine with no issues? No issues. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Mean adjourned. Jason, have a good day. Thanks, guys.